World missions was on God's mind from the beginning. Since God is a missionary God, God's people are a missionary people. Oh, that I could spend every moment of my life to God's glory. Thanks for joining us. I'm Pastor John here at Brookhaven Wesleyan and uh, serve as a missions pastor here. And I'm Pastor Dave and I'm the student ministries pastor here at Brookhaven. And this month has been phenomenal. It's the month of February. We are so enjoying this month because uh, for many years now, we have been emphasizing missions. And so, Pastor Dave, what, what has it meant to you this month, this month of missions? What, what's, what's spoken to you? It's always a great reminder uh, of the mission of God, that God is on mission all the time, that God has been on mission since the very beginning, all throughout the Bible, God is on mission reconciling humanity to himself. And now, uh, hundreds, thousands of years later, we get to see God on mission today. God on mission in Cambodia. God on mission in Haiti. God on mission in Albania. God on mission uh, here in Marion through the Grant County Rescue Mission and other ministries uh, that we are able to support. And with that, I always love hearing testimonies about what yes. God has done how God has transformed lives. If, if you missed it over the last couple of weeks, we have heard stories of uh, Muslims who have come to know Jesus Christ and who are gathered in a house church in a country where they're persecuted and they're singing, I've decided to follow Jesus, no turning back, no turning back. Though none go with me, still I will follow, no turning back, no turning back. I could listen to testimonies like that Amen. all day for the rest of my yes, life. Yes. And uh, last week we heard testimonies of uh, uh, drug addicts and alcoholics who have come to know Jesus through the Grant County Rescue Mission through Open Art, and now they're telling other people, you need to come find out about this Jesus. You need uh, to, to get the help that, and the transformation that he provides before um, you've gone too far down this road. And hearing Natalie's testimony last week, uh, that stuff, oh, yeah. it fills my soul. I could listen to it all day long. It's Solid. wonderful. It's wonderful. Amen. Amen. Yes. I just praise God that, as uh, one person said it this way, missions is the very heartbeat of God. The mission of the church is missions. Any church that is not seriously involved in helping fulfill the Great Commission has forfeited its biblical right to exist. Pastor John, Missions Month has been great. We really enjoyed it. But uh, even though we're sad this is the last week of Missions Month, what happens after this? Missions continues after this Absolutely. month, right? So Absolutely. what 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 do we have to look forward to? What else is going on throughout the year? Absolutely. We want to be on mission all year, 12 months of the year, 365 days of the year. And so when we think of that, there are people and ministries here even locally that we partner with. And we would invite you too as well to partner with us as we continue to support them through prayer. Uh, through giving of finances and through even going. Uh, so ask God what it is uh, in these moments as we're getting ready to hear from our keynote speaker this morning. You're going to really enjoy this. So stay tuned because God is working. What is God wanting to do? How are you living on mission in these times?